lovely people of the internet, I'm the Breathing Canvas and welcome back to Monster Makeup Week. Today I'm going to be showing you my mummy design onto the sketch. It's kind of like a mummified Cleopatra because we have those kind of designs going on, especially on the left eye. The little swirls and squigglies, the big cat eyes. On the other eye we have the gold lid and then the big blue crease. And then otherwise we're just doing some contouring with the greens to really give it that sunken in, undead, dead features, whatever these are. And then we're doing some nice gold shimmery lips to give it that kind of royalty Cleopatra-ness to it with some black shading and also black on the lines of the lips to give it that kind of chapped dried out look. Let's get started. So I'm gonna take my gorgeous avocado green, a little bit of white, and I'm gonna mix those two colors together just to give it kind of that faded look and just lightly brush it on there. It's okay if you see some of your natural skin color coming up through. We will be doing some contouring with some darker green to give the face more dimension. I like to compare colors to food, apparently. And since I refer this green as to like an avocado kind of color, I have my white with it, and also because the texture of the cream looks like marshmallow fluff, so um, that's a great combo. Actually, I was at a Costco when they were giving out samples, and there was a smoothie because they were showing off a blender. It was a smoothie made of like with cookies and some other things and a little bit of avocado. And here's the thing, it tasted like liquefied Lucky Charms. And it was beautiful. But it was avocado. So it was confusing. But it was beautiful. So anyway, avocados and marshmallows. Still, don't try it, but uh, yeah, there's a little story for you. All right, so you see it looks kind of splotchy and everything. It's gonna add more texture to it and more, it looks more realistic than just like this block of color. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of contouring. Actually, since it's gonna be all cream and I don't wanna keep moving this around, do contouring with some black powder. I'm gonna be using eyeshadow because that's the only black kind of powder that I have. Let's move on to the left eye. So I'm gonna take dark blue eyeshadow I'm just gonna trace over that eyebrow. I'm gonna take this down all the bridge of my nose. Now I'm gonna take a lighter blue and go over the crease, and then I'm gonna follow back up on the bridge of the nose, so that's my transition area. I'm gonna also swoop it out to the very edge because it's gonna follow along that cat eye that we're gonna draw later. Touching my paintbrush, I'm just doing that little curl on the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna try doing pretty much that same thing on the lower lid with our orange. So I'm drawing it just below. This way you're not always having to look back and forth at your sketch trying to figure out what to do. So we're going to drag down from your top corner here and come down to a point. And then we're gonna do a little curly cue on the end there. We're gonna come back to this and do the, those few more details of like the redness and everything, and also with the eyeliner, but right now we're gonna go over to the right eye. So, right side, here we go! Whee! Okay, so first I'm gonna do gold on the lid, and a thin line of blue on the crease. Okay, now we're gonna add in those tired, bruising-ness stuff around the eyes. I'm gonna take some of my yellow ochre cream, which is almost gone. Mm, you served me so well. I'm gonna put that just under my eye go over here. You're just selecting a few random spots, but really the most part you want it under the eyes to give that tired, haven't slept for a hundred years kind of look. Then we go over with some red. Just for a little add something, you can add in a little bit of purple. And I'm going back over with some yellow to really give it that bruised look. I'm gonna give it that kind of greenish tint to it. Now let's do the eyeliner. So for cat eyes, especially dramatic ones like this, I like to use liquid eyeliner. I just have more control of it. It gives it a nice flow and kind of keeps going. Just lift it up the very end. If you're not sure where you want to lift it up, the more dramatic and kind of the thicker and the sooner you want to start that lift, you can go on the edge and just kind of build on top of it, going further in it until you get where you want it to be. You also want to go in by your tear duct or on this kind of center-ish you're gonna do this. Just make that little triangle at the beginning there. Okay, and now the last big step for us is gonna be the lips. I put on some foundation, you can do a cream or primer, whatever, because I'm gonna be using our beautiful shimmer powder over that. I need something to stick to. Are you ready for the magic? Here we go. And on the bottom, you're gonna go in just a little bit more with your black. These lips are too pretty for a mummy, so we're gonna do that chapped in detail to it. So you're just gonna trace over a few lines in your lips with your black. 
So this is basically it for your mummy. All the makeup you're going to be doing, everything else is just the wrapping and a little bit of liquid latex to place those muslin strips on. So if you wanted to stop here, you can do that or I'll show you how to do the rest right now. Right now with like a mummified karate master, you could do that too. But no, we're doing Cleopatra, so hold on. I have my strap here. I'm gonna anchor it onto my headband. See how it's a little bit too thick, kind of covers some things? I'm gonna twist it a few times to make it a little bit thinner. I'm gonna try taking some liquid latex, just laying it on top and see if it sticks on. I mean, I could use spirit gum, which would be the easiest thing to do, but spirit gum. Oh, let's try this first. So I'm just brushing that on top. And oh, it's working. I don't have to use spirit gum. I'm so happy. All right, and you're just gonna kind of keep doing that until you're happy. All right, lovelies, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. Let me know that you did, that you wanted to see more like it. Also, make sure you see some of my other videos, and I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye.